This morning we were a bit concerned um, with Richard because of the significant swelling that has gone all the way up to his armpit. There's no time to waste. The anti-venom has to be put to work right now. But what exactly is it? It's based on a serum that is gathered from horses. So they get slightly poisoned with it, the immune system reacts to it, and then we extract that and concentrate it down. It's fiddlier to make than your average pharmaceutical. The snake must first be milked for its venom, then a reluctant nag is partially poisoned. Finally, the antibodies produced in the animal's blood are purified until just the serum remains. So with the power of four stallions, it's injected into his arm. The antibodies should get to work and neutralise the venom, stopping the poison from destroying the red blood cells. All Richard can now do is wait. But if the serum doesn't work and the venom keeps spreading, surgeons may have to amputate his arm. I think if I was in Richard's position, I would be quite uh, sort of like worried and concerned. And so it's not just uh, to be taken very lightly, oh yeah, there's a snake bite, just give the antivenom. If there's any sign of problem, we'll obviously rush back to see him and assess him again. The next few hours are crucial. Richard is checked regularly to monitor the amount of poison pumping through his body. Two days later, the serum has finally kicked in. Richard's swelling has gone down and he's out of danger. But it was touch and go. The decision to do the operation was a very close call indeed. He was, I would say he was in within an hour or two of needing quite mutilating surgery on his arm to prevent this, the swelling. So I think the antivenom and the measures we instituted have done him a great deal of good. Funnily enough, Richard now thinks picking up poisonous animals isn't the way forward. I've not really got any fear of reptiles, although I am definitely going to be guarded in the future and we'll probably only look at them through the uh, glass in the zoo.